Hi, and welcome back to episode number six of my brand new video podcast, YWG TV. I'm so glad you're joining me here today because I have got a great challenge for you and your marriage this week. Back in episode number two, I shared my five favorite books for Christian homemakers. So you can go back and view that episode on my YouTube channel or by going to youngwifesguide.com slash session, no, I'm sorry, youngwifesguide.com slash YWG002 to view that. So today, I thought it would be fun to give you five more book recommendations. This time though, they are marriage books and great ones that you can read together with your husband. Jason and I both love to read, and one of our very favorite things to do is to read together at night before bed. So we can cuddle up in bed, read out loud to each other, or often, Jason will read out loud to me while I do my 15 minute nightly pickup, when I load the dishwasher, put away laundry for the day, get things set up for the next day. It's the perfect time because I have to do 15, 20 minutes of these tasks, and he reads out loud to me while I do them. And we have found that reading together really draws us together, it helps us learn and grow together, and often it sparks really good and really deep conversations between the two of us. And sometimes we start out with this marriage book and we end up half an hour later talking about something completely different, but it's sparking that good and deep conversation. And so we have found it to be so enriching. So what we do is we typically cycle through different kinds of books because we don't wanna get just stuck on one subject. So for example, we might start off reading a marriage book and then when that's done, we'll switch to a parenting book and then a theological or Christian living book after that. And then we'll swing back around, do another marriage book and so on. So these five books I'm going to share with you today, we read over several years. We did not read these all back to back. You can, of course, but we also really want to be investing in our parenting and learning and growing together just as Christians and our theological viewpoints and things like that. So we kind of cycle through different books kind of in that order. And this helps us to then have a really good variety in our reading as well. And so each of these five books would be excellent to read together with your husband. And these five suggestions are all gospel-centered and God-focused. So it's gonna help you draw closer to your husband, but also focus on God more and draw closer to him as well in the process. So my very first book recommendation for you is Tying the Knot Tighter, because Marriage Lasts a Lifetime by Martha Peace and John Crotz. And I am recommending this first because this is the shortest recommendation I have for you. Um, and so for that reason, I suggest that you start with this one first because I know if you're not in the habit of reading with your spouse or reading at all, um, then it can just feel overwhelming, like another thing to add to your to-do list. So if you're really short on time and don't know how you're gonna fit this into your busy schedule, start with this quick, short little book um, because it really seems that if you can make a little tiny bit of time for reading and you get into that habit, then it seems like the more you fit that reading into your schedule, the easier it, ac the easier it becomes to actually do that reading and increase the time over time as you kind of get into this habit and routine. So I would say start with this one or the next book I'm gonna recommend. Start with this one because it's a quick short read and because it's a fun one, it's gonna spark up some good conversation. Uh, Martha and John in the book first focus on the basics of a Christian marriage and then they move on through the husband's role and the wife's role and then talks about the responsibilities within marriage. So this is a really good foundation too. Um, even if you kind of feel like you know what this stuff is, it's a really, really good a really good reminder on the husband's role, the wife's role, our responsibilities within the home. Um, and if you are new to what it looks like to have a Christian marriage, then this is a really good basic book to go through together. And the book is written in a really light conversational tone and each chapter is only two to five pages or so. So they're really, really quick. It's perfect to le read out loud right before bed because it's not gonna take a lot of time. And each chapter ends with some good discussion questions. So this is a great one. If you are wanna jump into this habit, I recommend starting with this one. Or my other recommendation for starting is this one, Sweethearts for a Lifetime, Making the Most Out of Your Marriage by Wayne and Carol Mack. So this is a husband and wife team wrote this book. And while this book, you can see 
is a much larger book than this one. Um, the chapters are really short and sweet. So we were surprised because this is such a massive book, it seemed like this was gonna take a while, um, but each chapter is really, really quick. So again, if you're in this season, especially if you have little kids, if you're in the season where maybe your schedules are not all that lined up with your husband um, and you just don't have a lot of time, then reading two, three, four pages at night it can be really, really doable because it just takes 5, 10, 15 minutes. Um, and there's some really good challenges and discussions throughout this book. And so this one really focuses on how you can build your marriage so that you can be sweethearts for a lifetime. So you can treasure one another, draw closer to one another, and not just be these two people that live in your home side by side. And Jason and I loved reading through this one. Um, and we're going to read through it again one day because... This one felt very different than a lot of marriage books because it felt almost more like a workbook with all of the, um, there's like challenges in it that you have to go through and rate yourself. So on a scale of one to five, where do you fall? Where does your husband fall? There's a lot of fun things like that in it. And so it felt very interactive and it was a good one to kind of draw each other into, each, into conversation um, while we were reading it instead of just reading and listening. It was, it was more interactive. So... There are 41 chapters in this book, but like I said, the chapters are super short. And the really fun thing, like I said, is that there's quizzes and exercises in a ton of the chapters. And we found these to be really eye-opening and fun and just sparked some really good conversation, which at the end of the day, we really want to help get a really clear focus on what a biblical marriage is and draw closer to each other. And so this one really, really helped. This is my other recommendation for starting. You can start with any of these, but I just know if you're really short on time and you don't have any sort of habit of reading together, then the quick short ones might be your best bet to start with. Next recommendation is When Sinners Say I Do, Discovering the Power of the Gospel for Marriage by Dave Harvey. And our home group Bible study just got done studying through this book together. So Jason and I read this one a couple years ago together, and then we just, last week actually, just finished going through this as a Bible study, our group together, of all young married couples. And so it makes for a great group study book or one-on-one -on -one with your husband. You can do it either way, it worked really well. And so throughout this book, we found so, he's talking about the gospel and marriage, but we found so many other nuggets of just truth and wisdom, not only about marriage, but for parenting and just life in general as well, because this book is thoroughly focused on how the gospel impacts our marriages, or at least how it should, and how that should play out within our lives, and giving grace to one another. That was a really big theme throughout this, is what role does grace have within our lives and what role does grace have within our marriages and so that was a really really good reminder and the chapters are a bit longer in this one than the previous two but they're still not that long they're designed to be able to read together and so the book has 10 chapters it's not the biggest book it has 10 chapters and this one makes for a good one to read together the pages are longer 7 10 maybe 15 pages but again you can always break them up you don't have to read a chapter a night you can read a couple pages and then come back to it another night that's kind of what we did um, i think reading through this one we'd read two to five pages at night and then the next night we'd read the next two to five pages even if it wasn't like clean chapter breaks and it worked fine okay Next recommendation for you is, and this is my, not my last, this is number four. What did you expect? Redeeming the Realities of Marriage by Paul David Tripp. This is another bigger book. This is an awesome one though. So if you, if your marriage has turned out different than you expected, you're five, 10 years down the road, you're a year, two years down the road, and marriage is just different than you thought or harder than you thought, or if maybe the romance has fizzled a bit and you're kind of left wondering, what should your marriage stand on then if it's not just this fuzzy, warm, lovey feelings? So if you've ever wondered this, and basically for anybody else who's married, then I highly recommend this book. This is a really, really good one um, because in reality, marriage is hard and it's not all romance and ooey gooey feelings all the time. And if you've been married any length of time, then you know that. And so where do we turn when things don't go as planned? Where do we go when the romance fizzles and the days get long and the days get hard? Um, so trip in this really helps guide you and remind you throughout that we stand upon God's grace within marriage and that needs to be the center of our marriages. And he brings that back to that. 
throughout it. It's so gospel and scripture centered. And so um, it's broken down into six main parts with chapters underneath that. And it takes you through six commitments that you need in a godly marriage. So for example, commitment number one is we will give ourselves to regular to a regular lifestyle of confession and forgiveness. And then there's three or four chapters under that that talk about what is for confession, what is forgiveness. Um, and so it really just breaks down the different commitments. Um, commitment two is we will make growth and change our daily agenda. We will work together to build a sturdy bond of trust. We will commit to building a relationship of love and so on and so forth. So, highly recommend this. Very last recommendation for you is Strengthening Your Marriage by Wayne Mack. And this is kind of the strangest of the five books because this whole thing is essentially written as an outline. Um, the whole book is. Instead of the standard like paragraph and chapter format of books that you're used to, um, we actually, I think, ordered this book, or I think my husband got this book at a conference a few years ago. Um, and when we started reading it, we were like, oh, this is weird because it literally will say like A and then give you like a couple sentences B. So it's actually in outline format. Um, but so it's a little strange at first, but it gives you kind of an outline and bullet points as you go through. And so it sounds a little strange, but it really helps guide discussion and conversation as you work through reading the points. Because instead of sitting down and reading five, five, um, pages at once and just going through and having it all explained to you, it'll give you a short, succinct bullet point of a certain point. And it makes it really good. It makes it really easy to stop and kind of talk about that point and then move on to the next one. And so it, this book ends up kind of feeling more like a workbook because it has fill in the blank spots and questions just sprinkled throughout it. So it might have like an outline where it's like A through G and then it'll have like spots that you can fill in and answer questions and stuff like that. So it's kind of a good, it is a good one to go together because, go through together, because it has that workbook feel that you can kind of go through. And so this book also takes you through God's purposes for marriage. And then it gives, really divides it into the husband's roles and the wife's roles and takes a really good look at that. So if you need to study more on God's definition of marriage, um, this is a good one to get uh, as long as you can get past kind of the weird outline format. Um, but again, I, like I said, it, it's got some good workbook feel to it. So I hope these suggestions have been helpful. Um, please leave me a comment if you have any suggestions or ideas for future episodes. If you want any more book recommendations on any other subject, please let me know because I can do more episodes like this in the future. And you can find the links and more information for each of these books by going to the show notes at youngwifesguide.com slash YWG006 youngwifesguide.com slash YWG006, and that's gonna take you to the show notes with all of the links and information. Thank you.